Hey, this is Hope from MCAT Mastery, and today I'm going to share with you three tips on how you can maximize your time while studying for the MCAT. I personally know that there's a lot of information on the MCAT, and sometimes we feel like we don't have enough time to get all that information in. I know that the world just doesn't stop for you just because you're taking the MCAT. I know you have other obligations going on. I know you have other things that you have to do. And sometimes you can feel guilty that you're not studying for the MCAT. I've been there, I understand. But today I'm gonna to share with you three different ways you can maximize your time while studying for the MCAT. The first one I'm gonna share with you is listening to materials. For me, and maybe even for you, that looked like listening to Khan Academy MCAT prep videos and also podcasts. So I'm a really big fan of Khan Academy videos. Um, anytime I hear someone is taking the MCAT, I try to turn them to those videos. They're really easy to use. They're really easy to find. So all you have to do is go to your Google search tab, type in Khan Academy in prep, prep videos, and all this information is going to come up. Any section that they have on the MCAT, they're going to have a video for it. So cars, um, chem, physics, um, bio, biochem, psychology, sociology, there's a section for them. And all that information is going to be there. The videos are anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes long. So whatever time you have, you can fit a video in for that. Um, 5 to 20 minutes may not seem like a lot, but when you add it up over time, it can really combine into something. So what's really great about these videos too is that you can save and download them for later and you don't have to use like your cellular data. You can just go off your um, downloaded videos that you have and you can watch those in the future. So I really enjoy these videos. Um, an example of when I use these videos is I had a friend's wedding who I really wanted to go to. Two problems though. It was two weeks before my MCAT and it was four hours there and it was four hours back. And anyone who's studying for the MCAT knows that eight hours is a really long and precious time to study for the MCAT. You can get a lot of things done in those eight hours. So what I did to solve that though, was listen to Khan Academy videos. So that week before I went to that wedding, I downloaded all these videos. For me, that was amino acids. That was physics problems that had to do with power and work that was action potential information. So I watched all those videos while I was driving there and back, and it was just really easy to use, and it was a lot of good information. So after that weekend, I felt a lot better about the MCAT. I felt, had a positive feeling towards it because I got to hear that information in a new way. So they said things in the video that wasn't the same way that my undergraduate professors may have said. It wasn't the same way that my prep book may have said. And I got to hear something in a new way. And when I combined all those ways, I've heard it before together, I made a definition for myself. And I think that's really important is to kind of make your own definitions of the information. Of course, you want it accurate, but sometimes you need to word it in the way that you understand it. Because on test day, you're gonna remember your words a lot better than what you're gonna remember somebody else's. Another great thing about those videos is that it allowed me to go to a wedding. It allowed me to feel like I was a normal person in society, which is really important because sometimes I know that you see all your friends doing this, you see all your friends doing that, and you're having just to sit there and study, right? So I got to go to that wedding. I got to be with my friends, got to have some positive attitudes around me, and it really uplifted me, and it was a really good thing for me. So if you have an event like that, maybe you can compromise and watch some videos on your way there and get to learn while also enjoying a little bit of life. So another way that I use these Khan Academy videos was I had physical therapy while I was going through my MCAT studies. So what I would do is I would bring my headphones and I would listen to those Khan Academy videos during my treatment. I would listen to it while I was sitting there waiting for it to be my turn to get my treatment or when I was getting stim and eyes. Now it was like 15 to 20 minutes, which just doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing that three times a week for two or three months, that can add up over time. And I think that's a really good way that I utilize my time. I got to listen to material that I really needed help with, and I thought it was a really great source. So the podcast I was talking to you about earlier is called MCAT Biology Review with Van Fidel. And what I personally really think that is, is just a guy who's going through his Kaplan books word for word, section per section, in that le legitimate same order, and he's just going over that material. That was really nice for me because I did a lot of driving while I was doing my MCAT. 
studying. So anytime I was driving for a long distance, I would turn one of those things on and I could listen to a whole section of the book just being reiterated to me. And it was just another, another tool that I got to hear a different point of view. And I thought that was just really great. Now the second tip I wanted to tell you about was the use of flashcards. Now these flashcards, they can be your own handmade written flashcards, they can be the use of Quizlet or this thing called Anki or whatever platform you wanna use. So Anki is something I just heard about a couple of weeks ago. Um, I met a fellow, um, a sports medicine fellow, and he was telling me about this flashcard thing called Anki that he used during his MCAT studies, during his medical school um, tests, and also during his boards. And he said it was very awesome. I've heard nothing but great reviews after I looked it up. And so if you're interested in that, or if you heard about that, you might want to do it or just keep it in the back of your mind. Well, once you get into medical school, cause you're going to crush this test and I know you will. And that's just something that can help you out in the future. So I think flashcards are great though, in general, whatever you use. I was a closet girl all the way through high school to college. I thought it was amazing. Um, then I got to the MCAT and realized I need to do a little bit more pen to paper. I think that helped me out a little bit more. But um, whatever it is, put what you need down. Um, put the information for me. Once again, it was those amino acids. The um, um, three letter code, the single letter code, structure, the what group they are. I needed to know that stuff. So what I would do was use those flashcards at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. And once I got to that test day, I knew that stuff front and back that was on my flashcards. And I think that's something that could really help you as well. Now, the third thing I wanted to talk to you about is Jack Weston's Cars Passages. So I'm a really big believer when it comes to Jack Weston Cars Passages in general. You can obviously use it on your computer and the format's gonna be a little bit more like the um, real MCAT. He does a good job of doing that. But his passages and his questions are very comparable to the MCAT. I really think so. And so I really enjoy those. And I also know that they're iPhone compatible. Not sure about the Android, don't have a friend with an Android phone, um, so I can't answer that question, I apologize. But I know they work on your iPhone. And so what he does is let you have a passage on one little tab of the screen and the questions on the other one. So you can go back and forth, you're not having to like memorize all the information in the passage. It's like the MCAT, you can look on the other side and see the passage, which I think is really great. So if you have 10 to 12 minutes and you wanna do a cars passage, you can pull it up on your phone if you don't have your computer. And I think that's really great and something you need to get in the habit of is doing a cars passage a day. I know when I took my first MCAT, I am a retaker. Um, I didn't really like cars that much. I didn't like the fact that I was being forced to read on a science test. Um, and I'm not a big reader in the first test, but I had to change my mind. And when I came back and retook that test, I wanted to make it a habit of reading a cars passage every day. And I use those Jack Weston cars passages and I utilize them on my phone. And I think that's a really great source and something you should probably get in the habit of. One thing I really want to stress to you is I don't want you to re and try to reinvent the wheel when it comes to studying. There have been so many top scorers who have come before you and we have made the mistakes time after time of not having the right strategies when it comes to studying. And I want you to learn from us. I want you to understand that. There, all these top scores, we have gone through this at MCAT Mastery. We have understood, we've understood where you're at with the frustrations, maybe even having to retake the MCAT, wasted so many months and maybe even years studying wrong for the MCAT when there is a right way. And I want you to learn from that. I had to learn from that. I try to go from just memorizing information to having to um, write my own notes, make my own flashcards, review those flashcards, review those notes, listen to videos. I had to put a lot more work into it than when I did an undergrad. And I know you can learn from those mistakes that we have all had. And the great thing is, is here at MCAT Mastery, we have combined all these 90th percentile tips. We've interviewed all these 90th percentile scores and we combined them into an MCAT um, Mastery program. And I want you to have access to that. We'll have that program and we also have um, free emails that I'm gonna drop the link to you below. And I want you to check that out and I want you to look at it. I want you to really remember that you can learn from people's mistakes. And I don't want you to do the same things that we've done. So, Cause once you find out how to study for this MCAT test, that's like no other test you've ever taken in your life. 
you can start seeing those scores increase time after time and you'll see them increase quicker than these people who don't have these strange strategies than you do. And that's going to put you one step closer to becoming a doctor and fulfilling all the goals you have. I want to leave you with this. I want to leave you with some encouragement. Um, I've been in your shoes. I know that you can do this. I believe that you're more than capable of figuring out all these strategies and making it your own and getting that score that you desire and fulfilling all your dreams. I know you're frustrated. I've been there. I know that you kind of want this to be done. I understand, but keep pushing, keep having confidence in yourself. Know that you can do this and good luck.